Mount Ray is a 10.72 km, 1,040 m elevation gain out and back trip to the top of the Mist Range in Kananaskis Provincial Park. There are two common routes that I know of for dealing with the pinnacles on Mount Ray. The first is to use a trail in the scree to climber's left, and the second is to go around to climber's right and climb up a chimney. For this trip we did neither, and went straight up the pinnacle. We're here at the Highwood Pass to make it to the top of the mist range. Start at Highwood Pass and cross to the east side of the 40 and start walking north along the side of the highway. You should find a trail leading east pretty quick. Take this trail and start gaining elevation. You will be out of the trees quickly since you start at such a high elevation. Continue along the trail as the vegetation dissipates. When you get to Ptarmigan Cirque, continue on the trail going north. Continue up the scree as you get closer to the snow and the rock beside the snow that you will ascend. For the next section until you gain the ridge, it is essential that you have a helmet. This is a pretty popular scramble and the rock is very loose and the terrain steep. Okay, off the scree now, thank fuck. Although this still kind of just looks like loose shit. The ascent wasn't actually too bad, but the descent was incredibly slow going. Oh, rock, 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 rock! <laughs> Sorry again. We were lucky and didn't have anyone above us on the ascent. Finally made it up to the ridge. Once on the ridge, start heading northeast. The start of the ridge will be easy. For our route, you have to go straight up the ridge, aiming for the pinnacles. We've made it to the base of the first pinnacle. If you decide to go up the pinnacle, you should be comfortable with class 5 terrain. There isn't really a bailout option if things go wrong, and you get scared. The pinnacle has two parts, separated by a ledge of scree. These videos have been from the first part. The second part gets steeper. I am on the ledge now, and there is Kayla finishing the first part. On the second part, you want to aim for the right so that you can get off the climbing section as soon as possible. Long ago, so there's not much information. I don't think they would though. This is where we met up with what I believe is the chimney route. Oh, there's a cairn here. You can get a good feel for how steep the climb is now. Yeah, footholds aren't great there, are they? When you're ready, you keep heading up. Still have to watch out for loose rock. Okay then. At the top of the first pinnacle. Ah yes, well, I see. You will need to descend to the other side. You see Kayla, this is how you turn your class 3 scrambling group into class 4 or 5. Okay. Goddamn pinnacles. We then started heading up climbers right of the next pinnacle, yeah, and then around the left side of the third one. I mean, we could always just descend the gully, Kayla. Okay, so... 
Once at the top of the third pinnacle, you just have to descend back to the ridge. Yep. You just have to follow the ridge to the top now. Summit of Ray. <laughs> when you're ready to go down, go back along the ridge you came up. I think <laughs> that was like a really small foothold. <laughs> oh, this is like kind of like a picture. Yeah, because you can see what's behind you. Even well, I mean, I guess technically not very much is behind you. What? I said you can't see what's behind you. Then I'm like, well, I guess that's actually kind of truthful because there like really isn't anything behind you. Yeah. Right before you get back to the pinnacles, you should cut off on a trail skiers right unless you want to go back across. Descending back to the scree bowl was the most dangerous part of the trip. We knew that the rock on the slab was very loose, so we thought that we would try to descend the snow. We had brought micro spikes and one ice axe. The snow quickly became very firm, and we realized that walking down the snow was not a viable option. Okay? Yeah. We tried to descend facing inwards, but after about 3 meters we decided that we did not have the proper gear. We immediately cut climbers right back to the slab we had yeah, come up on on ascent. It's getting pretty hard. The snow's getting pretty hard. Might be a good idea. Yeah, let's see. On the traverse over to the slab, we made sure to spend time kicking in very good steps so that we would not slip and fall uncontrollably. Just use my steps. A couple days later, someone fell trying to descend this snow, and I am not sure if they lived or not. The slab is loose, and there is a lot of rockfall hazard, but I highly recommend that you take the slab on your descent. Once you get back to the scree, it is an easy descent. Won't be too long.